So when I went to Ikaria, it was fascinating because I thought maybe, especially going in the summer, there would be even more plants than I was expecting, but less than they had in the book. I definitely expected less than in the book, but it was, it was even less than I imagined, <laughs> really. I mean, it was so heavily meat-based and dairy-based as well. And the meats were really different uh, than many parts of Greece. So it was much more pork and a lot of goat. I would say goat is the primary that they eat, but very nose to tail to the point that uh, each of the restaurants, their specialty was the organ meat, and that was kind of their pride, and that's what they were serving everyone, and it was so well cooked. I mean, they're real real artisans with the meats and with the organ meats in, in this country throughout. They don't use any vegetables with it. They don't use any seasoning, and yet it tastes amazing, uh, so it was quite impressive to have the pork liver I, I just lived on for my entire, basically the entire summer, yeah. And they really, um, you know, my first restaurant, and I, I have this in a, a little uh, video on YouTube, but the first restaurant I went to, a, an old grandma, 93 year old lady was serving a pork head stew and she was quite proud of it, you know, and then her younger generations were all preparing the rest of the animals. Some were making some uh, cheese for the restaurant and this was really quite normal. Uh, they're also very regional as is most of Greece. So if you're on the beach, you're gonna get some fish, but you're also gonna have the meat items. Uh, there's not as much beef there, unlike some regions like uh, Africa is very beef heavy. That's like their staple. Whereas here, there's not the land for it. It's rocky, it's not grassy for grazing. So you're gonna see more of the goat, the sheep, the pork and the fish, um, but it, it's really the staple. You would never have a meal without those kinds of things there to the point that each of the, the families just per capita have about three goats per person. So, I mean, it, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's quite heavy. I was surprised, I'd say one thing I was, I think the most surprised by was the, the lack of carbohydrates there because the Greeks traditionally eat all the things. They eat a ton of fat, a ton of dairy, a ton of lamb, a ton of ghee, uh, all these kinds of things. And they have a little bit of beans usually as a side dish in family gatherings, but it's not a thing that you usually get at restaurants. So it's not what they say, it's like beans aren't very common. But in Ikaria, I really didn't see the beans at all, despite being there in the summer. And I, I should classify for all you listeners out there that uh, Ikaria and, and all of Greece, it's very seasonally. So they're gonna have the highest amount of vegetation during the summer months and the least amount during the winter and the spring to where when I've led medical retreats here in the spring, I couldn't get any vegetables when I wanted to. So, <laughs> so it's really very regional. Usually most of your food is coming from within a mile or so of your house or from where you're eating, from the restaurant, that kind of thing. And Ikaria was no different than that. But getting back to what surprised me, in most of Greece, especially mainland Greece, that you do see a lot of bakeries. And although they don't eat sweets the way we do in the States, their, their uh, version of a dessert would be something we would have for breakfast. It would be yogurt with honey uh, or some fresh fruit in the summer. So that's typically their dessert. But they have these bakeries and things. Um, and when I went to Korea on the entire island, I, I only found two bakeries, they were tiny and you just didn't see people going in and out. And when I interviewed people, I have tons of interviews. I just highlighted one, but I have tons of footage of all of these interviews and they all reinstated uh, even more so than I had experienced that they're, they're not much of a carb based culture there. Uh, they do eat their vegetables and that kind of thing. So they have like their pumpkins and squash, which of course came from the Americas. They're eating more potatoes now, but that wasn't a traditional food for them, but much lower carb than the rest of Greece, I would say.